Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. It's um, week three of lockdown here in Madrid, Spain. Um, it's our middle, da middle son's birthday, Mark, um, and he's turning nine. So it's his birthday party. Obviously, we can't go out and we can't celebrate it, so we're having the big one at home. I'm Forrest Gump. He's Batman. We've got Spider-Man. We've got Funky Cole Medina. And we've got the policeman at the back there. So anyway, so where are we with figures? Well, in Spain, we've 85,195 deaths, okay, and we're, uh, sorry, cases, and we've got 7,340 deaths. Now, the good news here is over the last 24 hours, we've only had 5,084 infected people, okay, and we've only had 537 deaths. So the number has come down compared to the last two or three days where we were hitting the 230, 240 mark. So it's a good sign. So they're saying that we're hitting the top, but that doesn't absolutely mean anything because if we look at Italy, they'll have a day that uh, there is a slight decline, all right? But then the next two or three days, it's high as well. And just looking at your Australian figures, I think you're going at 4,100 cases with 18 deaths, all right? So it's still pretty good. As I said, I'm not expecting uh, many deaths, all right? Because um, your elderly are probably uh, more protected there compared to what we are here, right? We've got the residencies and then we've got the, that uh, family unit which consists of uh, grandparents, um, the children and then the grandchildren, okay? So I'm not expecting it, but anyway, the infected cases, well, that's another story in itself. Um, probably some news that I sort of picked up this last week was in regards to the uh, old age centers, all right? If you remember right, um, on the, one of the, one of the uh, videos last week, um, we mentioned that um, there was a high case there within the old age centers. Well, in some of the news that we were receiving during the week, um, they were saying that um, there's about 1,700 deaths in the old age centers. Okay, and I think it was about 1,700 1, deaths between, uh, yeah, the elderly that are in the old age centers, all right? 1,100 were in the age centers, and then the remainder died within the hospitals. All right, so that's a big, big tragedy in itself that the people are dying within the old, uh, the aged care centres. Okay. In regards to the economy, what have um, what have you seen there? Have you seen anything uh, different? Have you been? Have you seen anything today? You went to work today. Was there any news? Well, no. As we are now in a total lockdown, it's true that there were uh, less people in the streets, uh, but well, nothing special. Okay, as, um, as Mario has said, right, we've gone on to a next stage lockdown. Well, here we don't have stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. They just said it was lockdown, but when now they've come up with this new one, all right, um, what they've told us is, um, right, who's, um, what is essential and what is not essential, all right? Now, it looks like in the last block, um, there was a, there was still construction, right? Not um, government construction, not building roads, not, none of that, but there was some private constructions, right? And that's where the neighbours were complaining, because just imagine you're at home and the next door neighbour is drilling away yeah. and they've got something going on, okay? So you're locked down in your house and, um, and, you, can't, and you can't rest because you've got construction going on in the house or uh, refurbishment. Um, Anyway, so where are we with uh, what's, what's, what's available now or what's essential for them? Well, anywhere that they sell drinks or, or food or even pet, pet food, uh, hygienic, uh, meaning uh, toilet paper or, uh, or whatever, just to give you a hand, Medi medication and, um, and any place that distributes any of those, uh, any of those needs, all right? Um, also, restaurants, they can deliver, they can do home deliveries, okay, and also, um, well, any, and you've got to take, take note that anyone, any place that manufactures any, um, any mask or, uh, mask or, medical uh, ventilators, medic, 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 what? Medical products. Medical products, right, they still have to remain open. And then one of the last ones, which was sort of a bit of a highlight, which they still haven't stopped, and it's going to be a big issue, right, because um, there's plenty of it, is uh, ladies who take care of um, aged or the children, like nannies and things like that, and also um, gestoria. Gestoria is people who um, take care of taxes, uh, like uh, property, and uh, taxes, law, law documentation, um, and, uh, and things like that, okay? Uh, like even property management and things like that, all right? That, that's called essential as well. 
Um, so that's that's still that's still going that's still going um, within these next two weeks, all right? Because they've done the lockdown for an additional two weeks. In the political front, all right, it's still pretty it's still pretty tough here, all right. They're still the governments are still going uh, going hard. Okay, I've got Batman and Superman who have got all of that under control. Okay, um, but it's it's pretty hard. They're trying not to get this political um, uh, debate going. Because obviously the country is in a difficult situation, but all right, um, when this is all over, it's obviously going to come out and there's going to be huge issues, all right? Because what they sense is it's been um, handled very poorly. But as I said before, I'm not uh, saying I'm not trying to make this a political debate myself, but I think every country is going to find themselves in the same situation. More than anything, I just want to, want to say uh, once again to all the family and friends, all right, who are there in Australia. Uh, to the Stevens family, uh, to um, people who are in Melbourne and Sydney who are writing to us, all right, and there's uh, been a great response to all the videos that we're putting up, that we're all really good here, right? Um, family's pretty safe. Uh, well, we feel safe anyway. Uh, Mariola is the only one that has to go out and do the, uh, has to go and work, all right? So hopefully she goes well. But the rest of the family, well, we're coping. As you can see, uh, we have to do sort of, sort of um, some strange things to keep us entertained. I'm sure our son, our middle son, hasn't had a birthday like this with just the family and, and freaks running around the house. <laughs> but anyway, it's, uh, it's a challenge, uh, but it's a nice challenge, and uh, I'm sure in the future we'll be paying, when we're grandparents, we'll be paying a million bucks to have this uh, once again. Not probably what's outside, but this family gathering, yes. All right, anyway, everyone, have a great day. From the, the uh, movie star family, Spider-Man, say hi Spider-Man, Batman, Stay at home. Funky Cole Medina, <laughs> and Tom Hanks first Gump, alright, as they say, clean your hands, stay at home, and take care, bye bye. Okay.